heart attack. <laughs> she, she's sitting there, my dad was looking at her. I thought he did right right away. And then, uh, like, she was still fresh up. I don't know, well, she was on some pills. My mom's giving her pills. She's like, I don't need those goddamn pills. Sorry. <laughs> and instead, she's like, actually, get me a vodka. And we had martinis and wine. And it was the, the afternoon with stories about uh, 6th Street, where we live, and Brandy's grandma and grandpa, and Jenny and Jack, telling those stories. And, uh, you know, I also vividly remember, you know, Kibi, you were the light of her life. And I remember that she pulled up to our house with uh, grandmom's green, I don't know what that car was. The Dodge Dart with Sama on the back. That says, you would name your Sama. And that was like, she loved it. It was her new moniker. And you know, she'd fly up the driveway, and we'd hear these great stories, and she was so proud, and she loved, loved telling us those stories about Petey doing this and that, it was just great. And Jay, when you moved in with her, would hear about the pack. she's packing at lunch. I don't even know how you did that. <laughs> that was two educations, one in high school and the other one with just Tom and Marty. I don't, it must have been phenomenal or fabulous. But anyway, nothing, uh, none of these words truly describe my Aunt Sandra and what she was. Calling a spade a spade, never for lack of, uh, she could care less who was in the room. Um, but that's what made it so incredible. Um, obviously with uh, just that last weekend we spent with her was just so funny, which it was just so typical. And uh, she was just a great woman. And uh, they, she and Uncle Marty, what a great pair. And she really did, after Uncle Marty passed, she kept going her own way and fought through things and still very happy, always happy. I just, you know, she didn't need Prozac. She wrote Prozac. You know what I mean? She was the patent for Prozac. So, anyway, I love you, Amazon. Situation. 
And that is an unusual characteristic for parents and grandparents to give to little ones. And it's something that they carry through their life. Because as I said, there are ups and downs in relationships and in marriages and in life in general. But the joie de vie and the lesson that Sandra teaches everyone that if you are given lemons, you make lemonade, and you always do it looking stunning. <laughs> no one knew S on the way that we did. We lived with S on around the block. The things that she did always kept us laughing. We believed that Lucy and Desi used her material for their show. <laughs> she would do things that would do that. Uh, unbelievable. She would leave her driveway and start humping the horn it's all the way around the block until she got to our house. She and my mother were our sisters because both of them didn't have siblings until they were old, like five or seven, and um, they were very close. My mother would call Sandra and Sandra would tell her what to do. Do this, to, don't call me back until you do it. <laughs> she would call up, she said, they need volunteers in the library. So I want to volunteer in the library. Four years later, my mother's still volunteering in the library every day. Sandra quit. <laughs> she heard my involved. She heard my job. <laughs> she did it right. There's no question about it. She was, every time, she never Everything's always fabulous. How you doing? Fabulous. Please could be bad. I'm fabulous. Fabulous. So uh, it was an experience. One that I'll never forget. I'll tell you. She brought a lot of happiness and joy into our lives, that's for sure. Mm. <clears throat> Anybody else? Thank <laughs> you. 
on the chair. Uh-oh. No trousers. Well, Zonda decides that we're going to go. We're going to send my father out again. Meanwhile, Jenny was doing what she does, gets crazy, and she was getting nuts. Oh, Jack, he's going to be so upset. Well, he was upset. And when my father got upset, the neighbors could hear him. Well, Sandra and I go down to the dumpster. And there's this dumpster down in the basement, and there's all kinds of trash in there. And Sandra says to me, you get in that trash. <laughs> of silence for our own personal memories of song.
please rise. Thank you all.